Welcome one, welcome all to Clocktown. At first glance, a bustling city, a thriving economy, an exceptional labor force, a fully staffed police department. But what's really going on underneath the surface, un underneath this beautiful facade? Is Clocktown truly a thriving paradise, an economic free, uh, free market economy of perfect employment and, and a great, uh, you know what I'm saying? Well, that's what I'm here to find out. I think the easiest way to do this is gonna to be to go zone by zone. So we're gonna, the clock town is divided into uh, five zones. So we're just gonna go zone by zone and try to figure out who's employed and who's not, okay? So first up, Castle Guard, definitely employed. This guy seems like he's employed. He has an apprentice, so he must be employed, right? Dogs, we're not counting dogs. This guy, what is he doing? He's a construction worker. A lot of construction in this part of Clocktown. A, a lot of unskilled labor, they call that, which is a stupid phrase. This guy, does he have a job? Well, he's dressed like all of the construction people, and he's talking like them. But as far as we can tell, all he's doing is standing around. So if he's got a job now, if he keeps this up, He's not gonna have one much longer. This guy standing on top of this thing is the apprentice of the guy yelling at him. Is an apprenticeship a job? I think as far as we're concerned, that counts as a job as well. And here comes the mailman. That counts as a job, right? You can tell this person has a job because they say, I've already sold out of my wares, which means they must run a small business, which is great for this economy. This country loves small business. Now, as far as I know, there's only one other person in this part of Clocktown, and that's inside this building. It's everyone's favorite, Happy Mask Salesman. Now, say what you want about this wandering freak, but if you're a salesman, you've got a job. So, thank you for being employed, my friend. We appreciate it. And I'm pretty sure that's the extent of, uh, that's the extent of everyone in this part of town. Very good. South Clocktown, seven employed people, one TBD, but probably unemployed. Next up, we're going to North Clock Town. First off, easy one, you've got a guard. Guards are employed, they're employed by the state. Thank you for your service, or whatever. Next up, we got this kid. I'm pretty sure that the official US Census doesn't count children, but I guess let me look. According to the United States Department of people who need a job. The standard unemployment rate, referred to as U3, uh, a person is counted as unemployed if he or she does not have, why don't you just say they? A person is counted as, as unemployed if they do not have a job full-time, part-time, temporary, they're actively looking for a job, and they're currently available to be hired. So people who uh, are unavailable to be hired, like a, this human child, they would not count. And it also doesn't count if you're not actively looking for a job, but we all know how those statistics get calculated because we all had to file for unemployment, so we're just not going to think about that piece. Next up. We got this guy. I'm pretty sure you can't deny that Tingle uh, Tingle has a job. While I stand here waiting for a ferry, I sell maps to help out my father. That's a job. Tingle's got a job. He's a, he's a working man, okay? You can't make fun of that. That makes another job. Will you buy one of Tingle's maps? Uh, no. Somebody else who lives in North Clock Town is gonna be this person up here. This little somebody that we like to call the Great Fairy. Does the Great Fairy have a job? Um... I mean, if you go into somebody's house, which this is what it is, and they fix you up nice, you know, or they, they cook you a home-cooked meal, that doesn't mean they have a job. And also, if she did have a job, if this was her job, she would be going out to get the fairies instead of having me. Maybe she, maybe she runs a non-profit, is what this is. Either way, I'm saying the great fairy is unemployed. If she is employed, it's, it's in like a, a weird hippie commune way as opposed to like employed in the eyes of the state kind of a way. And I'm, I'm looking for employed in the eyes of the state. Now you might be thinking that's it for North Clock Town, but you'd be wrong. Inside of this hole are a couple more folks who uh, work in work in North Clock Town. We got this, this person here. That's two, two Dekus that have a job. So that's two more people employed. Now that is uh, pretty much everyone who works in North Clock Town, I believe. At some point, there are some people who come through here, uh, but I don't think they work in Clocktown. I think the lady who comes through here works in a different district, so we're not going to count her uh, unless I change my mind later. So that's it for North Clocktown. Great work. Next up, we're talking East Clocktown. This is a bustling district, a real bustling district. 
First and foremost, obviously, you got another guard. Uh, you've got this little kid. He's running around. Obviously, he doesn't count because he's not employable. Then we got these two jugglers. Now, generally speaking, if you meet someone and they tell you that they juggle, you don't go, great, that's good that you have a job. You go, oh, that's cool that you know how to juggle. So we're going to have to talk to these folks and really get a sense of... Uh, if they have a job. We're the twin jugglers from the Gorman Troop. All right, there you go. They work for a troop. That's a job. Two more for the employed uh, thing. Just because they don't work hard constructing things doesn't mean that their labor is not important to a healthy society, right? Now I know what you're thinking. How come that doesn't count for the great fairy? Because she's a hippie, all right? These guys are entertainers working for a troop. She's a hippie who lives in a pond. She's basically a glorified frog. Now, there are lots of places to go indoors, so we're gonna have to check with a lot of these local businesses to see what the situation is. First up, town shooting gallery. This guy's obviously employed. And then we got everyone's favorite NPC. She's got a job for sure. Again, she's working at it right now. And then we got this lady working at a hotel. Thank you so much for having a job. Mm, we got this old lady. Is she part of the workforce or is she too old now? What do you think? Is this is this somebody who's hireable? Is she able-bodied to be hired? I don't know. You can have a wheelchair and work at a job, right? I see you see plenty of people in wheelchairs working at jobs. Why does her wheelchair have a spike coming out of the side? Never noticed that. Most likely she's not looking for a job right so we're gonna say that she doesn't count she's not part of the workforce also in the hotel we've got this guy does he have a job he is working with these dancers to do a dance routine but the guy that runs the ipad at your kids dance recital doesn't count as somebody who's employed and i think that's basically what he's doing i think this guy might be unemployed I mean, context clues, he's not wearing shoes. I believe we'll get a chance to talk to him later though. So I'm gonna put him on the TBD list. We're gonna call him Song of Storms guy. What about you? Are you unemployed? Is this dance thing a hobby or what? Maybe I'll blame it on the troop. The troop! She works for the troop. All right, the dancers work for the troop. One, two. What about you, Super Mario? This guy also probably works for the troop if I remember correctly this sleeping man. But I believe we'll get a chance to talk to him later. So uh, we'll come back to him, I guess. All right, inside the milk bar in East Clocktown are plenty of folks, including this guy who was previously asleep on the bed. He's now drunk. I'm pretty sure he works for the troop. Wait a second, they, they probably don't, look at this. I left the ranch, I went in the world of show business, I traveled around. They probably don't live in Clocktown and pay taxes in Clocktown. So if we were getting like, uh, an unemployment rate in all of Termina, they would apply. But they're not, they don't live here. Their business is probably based in like Turks and Caicos or something. So they don't count. This guy doesn't count. The two dancers don't count. The two jugglers don't count. So I gotta take, I gotta take all of them off the list. This guy on the other hand runs a bar in the city. Over here we got uh, this fish. Uh, the fish also does not live here, so the fish does not count. In East Clocktown, we've also got these two clowns. Now I know what you're thinking. Well, they're in a shop and they're clearly running the shop. They're in charge. Therefore, they must be employed. I'm not so convinced. She says, I wonder if it's a customer. I get the sense from these two that one of them works here and the other one's just mooching. She is the responsible one who's trying to get him to do his job because his like parents gave him this business, but she's not actually employed by the business. Could be the other way around, but the fact that she goes, oh, is it a customer? That to me feels like she's trying to get him to pay attention to the fact that, uh, you know, she's trying to point out that I'm here. She's trying to get him to pay attention and do a, do a job. But in my opinion, one of them's employed and one of them's not. And with the way that they're running this business, neither of them should be employed. I also almost forgot about Anju here. She works at the hotel. So she's another mark for the employed. Thank you, Anju. She's not great at her job, but nobody ever said you had to be great to have a job, trust me. Now, the last uh, building is gonna be the mayor's office. Here we go. Employed person number one, another uh, weirdly sexy, sort of uh, desk, what do they call these people? People who work at a desk? Desk women? Either way, she's employed. Over in this room, we've got uh, this guy. He works for the troop, so he doesn't count. He's a fish, so he doesn't count. Who's this lady? Madame Aroma, who's Madame Aroma? Oh, she's the wife of the mayor. 
Is first lady a job? This person on Quora says being first lady is a fairly full-time job. So it probably counts as a job. And then over in this room, we got loads of people. We got uh, the mayor, he's got a job. We got two more guards, they've got jobs. And we've got two more workmen. They might be union representatives, but I still think that counts as a job. And that's gonna wrap us up for East Clocktown, which means that the only main district remaining is West Clocktown. This is another business district. So we can expect to find loads of employment here. First up, Curiosity Shop, not open yet. We'll come back later. Next, Trading Post. This is an employed person. The Scarecrow is sentient. Is he eligible to be employed? That's the question. I'm marking him down as unemployed. Next, we got the bomb shop. This has this uh, creepy guy in it. He's employed. And you've also got this Goron. I'm not sure if this Goron's employed. He's selling a powder keg. But if you deal weed, do you, are, do you qualify as employed? Probably not, you'd keep it off the books. So he'd probably say he was unemployed. Yeah, because he's probably just selling powder kegs. You know, it's like the guy when you go to the bar and you go in the bathroom and the guy comes up. Never mind. Of course, we have another guard in this district, so that's another employed person. Thank you so much. The swordsman school has this guy. And that counts as being employed, right? Being a teacher? That's, yeah, that's an employee. It's an employment situation. Over here, we got the post office, but we already counted the mailman, so uh, we're good. Wow, what is he doing? Also in West Clocktown is the lottery shop. This one's a little tricky because it's hard to tell how many people actually work here, but we're gonna just assume one. And then of course we got the person who runs the bank and that's certainly bank teller, that's a job. Now we've also got this guy who works at the curiosity shop. He is employed, therefore it counts as an employment. However, he looks an awful lot like the guy who worked at the other shop, so I'm wondering if he's just doing double duty. Because at this shop, there's a different guy who works it at night. You see this cool, cool cat? First of all, his shorts. Second of all, he counts as another employed person. But I feel like the guy who was here earlier is the guy who was working at the curiosity shop, in which case he doesn't count as another person. So I'm gonna have to come back tomorrow during the day and see if I can confirm that. Hmm. Is that the same guy? He's itchy like the other guy. Yes, it's the same guy. He works as the, the friendly store manager, but also the racist uh, curiosity shop owner. Don't ask me how I know he's racist, but I know it from personal experience. All right, I believe that covers all of Clocktown. However, there are a couple stragglers we have to take, uh, we have to take into account quick now so the first straggler that we have to check out is going to be that guy that we talked about you know first we talked about the guy yelling at the poster we decided he's unemployed then we got this guy who was uh the guy who runs the ipod at the dance recital here's my argument long ago i was in an animal troupe was past tense so my guess he unemployed just like i thought another straggler is a little boy named kaffee or cafe, or cafe, there he is. Does anyone want to try to argue that this is someone who has a job? Because I'm, I would don't believe it. He's unemployed. Don't forget about this nice gentleman who came all the way out here to clear the boulder from the milk road. He's dressed in the same uniform. He's doing the same type of work as all those folks in Clocktown. There's no way he doesn't live in Clocktown and work for that same construction company. And he'd be easy to miss. He'd be, I, I'd understand if you forgot about him, but I didn't. He is employed. And then the last guy we have to talk about is gonna be the old man who works in the telescope zone. Now, everybody knows this guy's unemployed. So the argument isn't about whether or not he has a job. Clearly he does not. The argument is, does he live in Clocktown? Technically, he's not within the walls of Clocktown. That's over there. But he is connected to the Clocktown sewage system and therefore pays taxes as part of the municipality of Clocktown and therefore counts as living within Clocktown. So that's my argument. He's getting added to the unemployed list. All right, the enumeration is complete. Link's job working for the, the Termina Census Bureau, also known as the TCB, has come to a close. He's gathered the data. Now all he has to do is send it off to some bureaucracy 
to generate this month's Clocktown Jobs Report. Now, uh, I'm very happy to uh, present to you at the end of all of that work, the uh, employment situation summary for Majora's Mask's Clocktown. This, uh, the transmission of this material will not be released until Monday, August 15th. And if you would like a copy of the report, uh, you will be able to find that down below so that you can uh, read it yourself. So the big takeaways of the employment situation here is that uh, total surface payroll employment is at 33 persons. That's the number of people who are working who can work, who want to work within the jurisdiction. 33 total people, not bad. Uh, that brings our unemployment rate to a whopping 17.5%. Uh, that is the findings from the Bureau of Labor Statistics. Job growth, primarily limited to construction industries due to the uh, festival of time. Pretty much every other sector remained totally stagnant uh, despite there being an influx of extra municipal labor in the entertainment uh, entertainment sector. We consider the high unemployment to be primarily due to, this is very silly. We consider the high unemployment to be primarily uh, due to an unwillingness to hire, and we believe that the encroaching uh, lunar body, the moon, uh, coming closer is considered a strong contributing factor in that prevailing uh, attitude towards hiring. That being said, the total num number of uh, non-working persons remained low uh, during this census, which is good. It's only two retired individuals and five children. Those five children uh, should begin contributing economically to the city soon. And just for everybody's reference point, 17.5% unemployment ties Clocktown with the country on earth of Ethiopia and is more than triple the unemployment rate of the least employed American city currently, which is Cleveland, Ohio at 5.5%. Uh, this data comes from a direct survey conducted by the Bureau of Labor Statistics over the course of six days. Now I know what you're thinking, how do they do the survey over the course of six days given that the moon is falling in three? I can't divulge those secrets. So that's it, uh, unemployment pretty high in Clocktown. A lot of people say that once employment starts, or unemployment starts to get to that level, you start to see rioting and unrest, which we definitely see uh, within Clocktown. So I don't think things are gonna go well for that place, but you know, what are you gonna do? That That's the situation as it stands right now. Maybe we'll check back in in a few days and see how Clocktown is doing. Uh, thank you so much for coming to the press conference today. I appreciate it very much. Uh, of course, if you want to support these kinds of press conferences, you can post a comment down below saying, hey, I liked this video. Please make more videos about the unemployment rate of video game towns. If you do not wanna see more videos like that, please do not post that because uh, you know I'm here to serve you. I wanna make videos you wanna make because I am here to serve you. If you wanna be here to serve me, you can go to patreon.com slash any underscore Austin. This is a viewer supported channel and you get a couple of things if you join there. If you don't wanna do any of that, I just have one more thing to say. Guess what? In my free time, I make a lot of music. I use that music in all my videos. You'll hear it at the end of every single video I make. So today, the last thing I have to say is please enjoy this song. I'll see you next time. That was a really bad impression of that rooster.